Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total, and today I'm back with another enlisted video. Today we will be doing the guide on the Beretta Mod 30, the Italian light machine gun in enlisted, and the only, like, enlist, you know, the only Italian light machine gun in enlisted. This guide will cover the history of the Beretta Mod 30, and provide in-game game tips and tricks. So let's get started with the, probably the worst, uh, light machine gun in enlisted. Like with every weapon that we do with Enlisted, we have to cover the history. With the design of the weapon of Freedom of Dirty, obviously, being produced at the end of the First World War, the Felice Maragalte Beretta Modello 30 was a rather unusual for a light machine gun. It was fit from a fixed magazine attached to the right side of the weapon and was loaded using brass or steel 20 round uh, stripper clippers. Not to mention the rounds are 6.5 by 52mm Caracano, Caracano uh, rounds, meaning that they are smaller than most rounds from other major nations. For example, like the German rounds that they use for the MG42 or the MG34. If the magazine or uh, hitch were damaged, the weapon will essentially be unusable. So you damage the magazine, which is attached to the gun by the way, it's unusable. The recoil can be also violent and result in poor primary extraction. So when, when it's fired, um, after it's fired, when extracting the magazine, by the way, once again, it's tied to the gun, that can be quite problematic, leading to problems. Which such problems? Some problems include, I don't know, um, show casings will jam up the gun, so the gun, gun ca can't fire. And for those that are wondering why are shell casings this important for Italy, Italy has a, has a bad industry, so essentially what they do after the shell casings is that the soldiers after the battle will pick up the shell casings and then send them back to the factories to put actual rounds, so Italy doesn't really have to waste shell casings. Uh, not that the Italian economy can afford to waste anything at that point. This Obviously, uh, the shell casings will also jam and causing the Beretta to jam. Um, this will obviously be a problem on the battlefield, not mentioning the dust and sand in North Africa, which can cause significant premature damaging. Also, that can lead to jams. Um, another, <clears throat> sorry, another problem with the Beretta's design is that its rounds have poor heating properties. So basically, what every gun has is a heating property. Um, that is why every time you look at the movies. Uh, a 50 caliber, you don't really shoot at it 24-7. Uh, same thing for the M MG42. It's just not physically possible because after shooting a full auto round for uh, an X amount of time, the gun will tend to break or melt some in some cases. This will the Beretta's design essentially makes the heating problem even worse, and the heating will cause the gun to literally lead to potential injuries or even death for the gunner. So this essentially could be even more terrifying. Later Berettas were eventually modified to accept the 7.35mm Carcano cartridge which the Italian military was making an effort to adopt to the Beretta Mod 30. That said, this was going to be a short-lived since this new adaption of the cartridge essentially was either too late for the war and was too little. The Beretta Mod 30 was viewed, was viewed poorly as a design weapon. It has a low rate of fire, low magazine capacity, and sometimes literally unreliable ammunition. And what ammunition does have? It's a 6.5 Carcano cartridge. It's not expected to do much, albeit it still can kill people. That at this point, like that is the only thing that we should be saying at this point. Uh, they were highly prone to stoppages, and um, there's a vital vital or oiling system. So essentially, what what happened for the Breda is that um, dust and sand will get into the weapon. So what they the Italians would have to do is to take oil pouches and pour oil literally into on, on the top of the magazine. Um, in which the fire mechanism, fire mechanism is occurring. This will um, essentially feed up the clips and um, make the magazines less prone to damage. Although that said, um, if any part of the Beretta's magazine was damaged, then once again, uh, the Beretta's the Beretta will be unusable, and thus, yeah, that's gonna be a big problem. Not to mention, in fact, those oil pouches that we decide to pour into the Brita, that's gonna cause some... That's gonna backfire in the sense that the weapons will cause... Will be greasy, since like, you're literally pouring, pouring oil into the weapon to make sure the weapon doesn't jam. Then that's just gonna cause more problems with a greasy weapon, and yeah, that's not a good situation that you got there. Needless to say, a Brita, the Brita Mod 30 is a terrible weapon. It particularly failed in North Africa due to the dust and essentially debris. 
But that said, it did perform what better in some areas such as Russia and the Balkans, particularly Albania and Greece. Um, not that Italy performed well in Albania or Greece, but uh, that said, let's move on. Um, it was the only light machine gun that Italy ever had, um, and it was given to to every Italian squad. Two at the start of the war, and eventually four at the start of, at the end, towards uh, when the war was going through. Needless to say, the soldiers who were given the bread of Mod 30 were considered legit unfortunate. These guys would literally not use the Breda Mod 30 for obvious reasons that everyone using the weapon knew or those who were in the army knew. Once the Second World War was over, Italy scrapped the Breda Mod 30. And the reason why they did this was because they already knew the Breda Mod 30's problems during the war. And you might be thinking, if they knew, why didn't they scrap it during the war? The problem was that Italy's industry didn't really allow that. In the sense that if you want to scrap a gun, start a new production, you essentially have to use materials. Materials that Italy certainly did not have, and it was just inter interested in remaining the status quo. That said, the second the war ended, Italy essentially scrapped it. But that is all for the history of the Breda Mod 30. Not a very good weapon, and you certainly didn't want to be using this, albeit, as we can see later on in the statistics department of the Breda Mod 30. You are. You should be way more happier now. You're not actually using a brain brain authority in enlisted. If the if the game is 100% historically accurate, because that would mean that the gun can't even fire. And yeah, that's not a good weapon. But that said, let's move on to the statistics of the brain authority in game. Next, we're gonna be talking about the statistics of the brain authority. Um, for all machine guns and enlisted, one levels one for three. Um, they all have 12 hit power, essentially meaning that you can potentially down a person with a single bullet. That said, that almost it never happens, or that happens really rarely. For level four, all machine guns and enlisted have 3.2 hit power, meaning that, yeah, things are gonna be really simple considering the fact that. What levels 1 through 3 have 12 hit power, levels 4 have 13.2. That is the same for all machine guns in enlisted, all light machine guns, and essentially every machine gun in enlisted. The Breda Mod 30 has 12 hit power for a level a 1 star Breda Mod 30. It has, for a 1 star Breda Mod 30, uh, 670 muzzle velocity, 400. 440 to 480 shots per minute, recoil time of 3.2, vertical recoil of 33, hor horizontal recoil of 22, uh, magazine of 20, obviously, a weight of 10 kilo uh, kilograms, uh, and cartridge mass is 22.8. Not that it really matters. It only has one fire mode, and that is automatic, which is weird considering that. Well, actually, no, it's not weird for a machine gun, but it is weird for it considering that it's an Italian machine gun. More on that later. For a 4-star Breda Mod 30, it has 13.2 hit power at 10 meters, 11.9 hit power at 100 meters, and so on. The armor penetration is 1 millimeter, like literally all machine guns have that. The muzzle velocity is 600, 670 meters per second. Rate of fire is 480 to 530 instead of the 440 to 480 shots per minute. Recoil t uh, reload time is 2.7. Vertical recoil is exactly the same. Horizontal recoil is exactly the same at 22. Vertical at 33. Vet system is exactly the same. 20 rounds round magazine. Weight is 10 kilograms. Cartridge dress is 22.8. And it still has automatic firing modes. That should be all the same. That said, the rate of fire has been increased by 10%, hit power by 10%, and shot deviation by minus 10, uh, minus 15%. And that is all for the Beretta Mod 30, at least for the statistics. Now this is the part in which I say what I don't like about the Beretta Mod 30 and what I do like about the Beretta Mod 30. For a lot of people, they think the Beretta Mod 30 absolutely off the bat sucks, and I agree, partly. The Beretta Mod 30 does suck. But we do have to keep in mind of everything I said above in the history section that the Breda Mod 30, although it sucks, you you better be damned that you're not using the historical counterpart of the Breda Mod 30. You should actually be quite happy that you're not using the historical counterpart. Because if you are, then it, it would really suck. Um, the Breda Mod 30, it's, 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 it's in the class of a heavier machine gun considering the fact that it's so heavy. And therefore, you should be essentially using it like a heavy BAR, except for a BAR has more rate of fire, has less recoil, 
This Beretta Model 30 has 20 rounds. This thing is one of the worst light machine guns in all of Enlisted, if not the most like, worst machine gun in Enlisted. Like I said, use it like the Beretta uh, use it like the BAR. Uh, go around and shoot people. Uh, that, that is my best suggestion. Like literally, do not expect to get a whopping 50 kills. Sorry, um, do not expect it to get a whopping 50 kills. Essentially, considering the fact it only has 20 rounds. Not to mention the fact that if you if you try to shoot it, uh, be sure to make to shoot it at a very close range. I find that if you if you prone if you brace the weapon if you brace the machine gun, it still sometimes will be very inaccurate, especially at longer ranges. Therefore, I highly suggest you to use the Breda Mod 30 at a very close range. How close? You should be using it at less than 10 meters. In human terms, that means you can literally see the person and you can see their face. That also could translate into you can see their eyes. The Breda Mod 30 has its problems, but it's not the worst weapon in... Actually, no, I take it back. Um, yeah, it might be the worst weapon in Enlisted. Um, it's... It's rate of fire is low, but that could be an advantage. Um, the rate of fire can be used in the sense that, um, yeah, I don't know how to use the Beretta Mod 30. Actually, um, essentially, just use the Beretta Mod 30 as a semi-automatic rifle that is extremely heavy, that is extremely useless, and extremely low rate of fire, even for a semi-automatic rifle. Heck, in World War II, this thing had had a less of a rate of fire than a semi-automatic rifle, like, this thing, this thing, um, just, just, just forget it, like, um, um, I highly suggest you to move on to whatever the next LMG is for whatever campaign you're playing. For Normandy, that's probably the MG34, and for Tunisia, that's probably the ZB-46. That said, um, the Raid Mod 30 can obviously still kill people, unlike its historical counterpart. You just have to be very good or straight outright, you have to pray to God that you are in a good position. Um, also what I kind of find about the Raid Mod 30 is that every, for some reason, um, the second you start firing the Raid Mod 30, the sound is not good on Raid Mod 30, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the firing sound, the sound, the, fi the firing sound is not good, but the Brader Mod 30, for some reason for me, every time I get to a position in which there's a lot of people, in which usually a place where machine guns can work very often, that just tends to back backfire in the sense that where a normal machine gun can just mow people down, you instead get mowed down. So essentially the Brader Mod 30 can be only used as flanking, a flanking roll. Shoot on the move, although, actually no, don't shoot on the move, but shoot on the move in terms of flanking. But every time you have to shoot this thing, you have to either be prone, crouching, or essentially stationary. And even then, at long ranges, this thing can be a torment. Um, at close ranges, you still have to be mindful of the recoil, because this, the recoil on this thing is painful. Um, that, that's all it for the Brayden Mod 30. I honestly do not suggest that you guys use the Brayden Mod 30. I honestly would ask you guys to pick up an SMG, but if that's not possible, Sadly, you have to deal with the Breda Mod 30. That said, the Breda Mod 30 can still kill people, so I'm not 100% against it, but I'm already at a 99% against the Breda Mod 30. That said, have a great day, guys, and this is the Breda Mod 30. I'll see you in the next one. Now, before you leave, I would like to thank you very much for watching this video. I would be honored if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Remember, more videos are coming out so it is a good idea to click on that notification button. Anyways, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.